instructions on how to understand instructions. Explanatory text explain things like instructions, maps, recipes, formulas, experiments, and they're all a form of a functional document. They help you do something. They help you achieve some goal. You know, the first thing you need to do is set your purpose for reading instructions. It sounds simple, but if you skip over that part of setting your purpose, you're gonna get lost really fast. You're trying to achieve a goal or objective and you're getting something in the end. And even if you're not successful, you're gonna gain knowledge. Now think about this. Is your goal, I don't know, to bake a delicious chocolate cake? It doesn't have to be chocolate. I guess it could be vanilla, yellow, German, whatever. Are you trying to complete an assignment? Solve the math problem? You in luck. These are some notes that we took together in class the other day. You gotta remember Instructions have certain text features, certain parts about them that help them to be understood. Instructions should have a title. What does the title say? And what's the goal of the instructions? Are they numbered, enumerated? If they are, that means there's a sequence to follow. And always, always read all instructions first. And use your metacognition. If the task is something you're familiar with, it will be easy. If it's something you haven't done before, you're going to need to really think about this a little bit longer. Look at the instructions. Are there pictures or symbols that help guide you? Do the instructions list materials or supplies? Are those supplies provided? Or do you have to get them from another source? Read complicated instructions out loud. Use a notebook or a piece of scratch paper to jot down confusing parts. Things, you know, or questions that you have or highlight certain information that you think is really important. Remember, metacognition. Think about your thinking. A reminder, if it's something familiar to you, you can do it automatically. If not, you're going to have to think about it more. And if you're working with a partner or a friend on something, what can you guys do independently? And what can you, you know, then finally pull it all together with? And please, don't say you don't know what to do, especially if you haven't read the instructions. That's helplessness. Don't do that. 
Those are the things you can say instead. You say, I read the instructions, but this part still confuses me. That's using metacognition. That's using mindfulness and a growth mindset, and that's perfect. Sometimes things still are confusing, and if you don't know specifically what they are, it's really hard for your teacher or your partner to help you. It's hard for yourself to help your own thinking. Reading is learning. It's a gift that you give yourself. If you're reading a novel, a news article, instructions, you're learning something about how you work, how you think. You might learn a new skill, a hack, how the world works. Or maybe how you wish the world worked. I don't know, I read news articles all the time and I think, oh, I wish things were different. I'm going to figure out how to change it. Life does come with an instruction manual, believe it or not, but you're creating it every time you learn something. When you're done with this, think, what are three strategies that you can use right away the next time that you read instructions? And practice them. 